Bismillahirrahmanirrahim in reference to my this research paper in which I have made such graphs so in this video I will tell you that how you can make such graphs so upon opening of the origin software you will see such an interface then click on it after that press right click and then add a new column upon adding the new column then double click on its C column here you will have to change the plot destination it is very important change the destination to the Z and then click OK so its destination has been changed you can also uh, give the numbering as per your the names of your variables now in this video I will use my A and B column for the input parameters while the C column in the Z direction as my response variable the data is available with me in the Minitab software. I will just copy and paste it from the Minitab in the origin software in order to save your time. So in the in this cell, press Ctrl V, the data has been pasted. This is step number one. Once the data has been pasted, then you will have to click on this button that is new. So you will get such a window. Then move the cursor to this cell and then click on it so that it will turn into black and blue so the black are the rows and the column while the blue is the rest of the window then move the cursor again and press right click you will get few options click set matrix dimension labels here you will have to select change the 32 into 200 while the 32 again into 200 the first column axis is 1 while the last column is 3. It means that my coded Taguchi design has the lowest value or the lowest level represented by 1 while the highest by 3. Similarly, the first row of the Y is 1 and the second highest level of the factor B or variable B is also represented by 3 in the Taguchi design that I have mentioned earlier. And then click on set matrix values now go to the mini tab software here you can see the variable a has three levels one two and three similarly the variable b also has three levels one two and three this thing has i have to put the regression equation in this window and the regression equation will be obtained from the regression analysis i will perform the regression analysis in the mini tab software how click on stat then regression then regression fit regression model then uh, i will okay let me reset the data in the response i will select the response whereas in the continuous predictor i will select a by doing a double click on it then b again by doing double click click ok you will get the regression equation in a while then this is my regression equation response is equal to 452.7 that is the intercept plus 15.60 the a minus 12.10 b so i will copy this regression equation from there and paste it in the origin software so here you will have to put some attention there will be no response i mean that you will not have to write the word response then space then equal to then space there will be no such writing of these things you will have to start from the intercept then plus 15.60 then you will have to insert the multiplication symbol by the static sign instead of a i have written x and then minus 12.10 again the symbol of static then y after that click apply and then ok you got this data once this data has been obtained now the next step is to make the plot click on the plot then 3d surface in the 3d surface you will have to click on color map surface then click on it you will get such a graph initially now you can see it's not good as compared to the one that i have shown you in my research papers so now we will have to work on it to make it attractive or beautiful the first thing is there are no such data points that has been shown by these black color circles so first of all i have to import the data in order to do so click right click on this one and then go to layer contents in the layer contents move this so right click on this one and then click on layer contents in the layer contents move this book 
one underscore c because my response variable in the is in the c column in the start of the video i have told you then move it there click ok so you got the data points in the same graph that are showing by these uh, squares then click on these squares and then you will get a new window because we are making this graph beautiful we have to change the shape to the uh, this circle and the size should be reduced to 8 and then click on error bars nothing to do 3d vector nothing to do drop lines we do not need the drop lines with the scares so uncheck this parallel to z axis the symbol uh, it's okay uh, go to the line increase the transparency to the 100% apply and then click ok now you can see there are no drop lines so now we have the data points as well now the next step is to make the color attractive so i have one another file in which i have very attractive colors you can get this you can take this file from me through the whatsapp or through email or by contacting me on the linkedin as easy for you once you got this file open it in your in pc then do the right click on this then go to the color copy format cop, uh, click on colors then come back to your own graph right click on it and then click on paste format so you will get the attractive colors on your graph as well so now the next step is to do the right click on this graph then click on plot details in the plot details we have these options click on surface in the surfaces or and then surface projections we need the bottom color as well and uncheck this contour line nothing else to do here so far then apply and then click ok so you got the bottom surface as well thing are going good so now you will have to click on this graph then my next step is to remove all these grid lines to make it more beautiful so right click on these grid lines and then click on axis in the axis option click on grid lines in the grid line vertical has been selected and uncheck the major grids then click on horizontal uncheck the major grids then click on z axis uncheck the major grids then apply and then press ok so your graph is around 90 percent completed the next step is giving the names to the axis double click on it and uh, so suppose i'm giving it the name uh, for example b you can give it as per your own uh, requirement uh, then click on this x axis title again double click on it uh, i will see the name is a uh, then click on this z axis title and i will give it the name um, you can see uh, x y and z so this thing also has been done now now the next step is to move this scale on the left hand side of this graph or you can say adjacent to the z axis it is quite important here okay now at this step i strongly recommend you to move this graph by double clicking on, on it and then move it slightly slightly upward and slightly rightward so that you can make the adjustments quite easily now you can see each and everything has been done what's the problem the problem is that this 430 and the one has been you can say overlap so then click on this axis a axis will have to make slight changes in it so in order to make changes in it click on this z axis double click on it then click on scale here uh, my z axis is starting from 430 so instead of 430 i will say started from 430.5 and we will see that this problem will be solved and instead of 487.5 i say finish it at 490 let's see what happens apply and then press ok you can see the problem of overlapping has been cleared the last thing of this video is that you can add the access in this graph title as well click on this one and then click here so you will add whatever you want for example you can add the regression equation uh, of this you can say a uh, response is equal to like uh, whatever you want to write uh, 452 point like this one so you can write the title as well now it's time to export this graph
so click on this file and after that click here export graphs open dialog after that click on image type in the image type please select any of them whatever you like but what i like here is tif tag image file and then after selecting come oh, okay give it the name i say the name is abct uh the, the speed where i want to save it so i say i want to save it in the d folder or let's in the batch advisor click ok and then i say uh, i will come down nothing else to do so far 300 rg each and everything is ok then apply ok and then ok so you will get the this graph in your computer hard so your graph has been exported now we'll go to the d and we will look at that what we have made and what has been exported so uh, let's go to d then um in the d so a prompt window has been appeared that my graph has been exported now we'll move to the d and then batch advisor to have a look at what we have made so this is a b c d so you can see that this is the graph that we have obtained so if you have any question please contact me via whatsapp or via email or linkedin i will try to help you as much as possible have a good day bye